Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. Right now I'm in Islamabad, Pakistan, but then today we are driving towards Peshawar, which is an ancient city. Uh, it's known for food and history, uh, but today we're not, not, we're not actually gonna explore the city, but we're gonna drive en route to Peshawar. We're gonna stop along the way. We're gonna have some adventures. We're gonna meet some amazing people. We're gonna eat some delicious specialty food from the region. Good morning, Ali. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. We're going to be hanging out with some of Ali's friends because they're actually from Mardan, which is near to Peshawar. They're going to tour us around. They're going to show us some of the local spots. Um, and I think along the way, we're going to probably stop to eat. We've been driving for about an hour now on our way to Peshawar, but we're going to stop just at a daba to get some food. This is actually a very well-known Daba Mianji. And yeah, this place is really known for their dal. They have the best dal in, in Pakistan. In Pakistan, this is the best doll. This is the best doll. Oh yeah. Mm. So good. It's mm. so thick and so rich. Yeah, like like peanut buttery almost. Alright, this is bitter bitter gourd mixed with the uh, kima mincemeat curry. Mm. Oh, oh, nice. Mm. Oh, the bitter gourd adds to it. That is fantastic. If you have this in the morning, you'll go to sleep again. <laughs> yeah, you want, you want to sleep again. <laughs> yeah, the desi ghee, right? Yeah. It'll put you straight to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I have to try the chickpeas. Oh, wow. Chickpeas are amazing. So rich and creamy, again, so much desi ghee. Dut pati, which is the milk tea. Complete milk, no, no uh, water in this. And it already, pure milk, you can see how it has that, the milk skin, cream skin on top. Yeah, well, that is creamy. It's like a milkshake tea almost. So they're also huh? taking some of the paratha and dipping it into the tea as well. Oh yeah, that works well. Next up, we're trying some kheer, milk and rice, I believe, like a like a pudding or a custard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you taste the cardamom in there, and it is like a really thick, sticky custard. Oh, and then you taste the cream coming through. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Great breakfast, great way to start the day. Uh, I think we're gonna continue the journey now. Yes. This is a this is a chapati kebab thing that we are doing. Like. Awesome. And uh, this guy's like you know he's been like ever since we were uh, uh, children. Oh, wow. He, he has a place over here. Haji Wazir. Haji Wazir. And this, and this is a shagul. Okay. Haji Wazir gulu dai. This is a massive iron pan. It is literally the size of a jacuzzi tub. Um, and we're here to eat chapli kebab. And so chapli kebab, you'll find chapli kebab all over Pakistan. But Mardan, this is the best place to eat chapli kebab because this is where it originates. Um, and this is the place that they've been going to since they've been kids. It's been here. The fire is just blazing. It looks like they're using a combination of both, both uh, gas and wood. And then they're just frying the chapli kebabs in animal fat. From this side. Let's go see the meat. Okay. Ah. Not cow buffalo. We have quite an entourage with us, and I am standing on the podium now. This is the bird's eye view. All oh, these are the ingredients. Okay, hold on. Let's let's just see the ingredients in the chapli kebab. Uh, bone marrow, it's minced buffalo meat. Ah, uh, but then they add bone marrow. Bone marrow. Uh, they add ginger, chilies, onions, tomatoes, and he makes the ball of meat into a patty shape. It's like a burger patty shape. Um, and then he scoots it into the oil, um, the animal fat oil, and that just sizzles away. Wow, beautiful. 
This is amazing. <laughs> and that is the most massive iron griddle pan I think you will ever see. It's so big that they actually include the the money that you you pay for the money and they inclu they can include that on top of the griddle. You first try without it, okay. then you try with the lemon, and then you try with this. You can just see those white nuggets of marrow just plastered into them. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> no. I thought they were like massive onions. Nah, kawas kaya. Chunks. Oh wow, the chunks, nuggets of actual like marrow. So. <laughs> okay. Hands down. Hands down, that's the greatest kebab ever. That is unlike any other kebab I've ever had. Crispy on the outside from being fried in animal fat. The slimy richness of the marrow, the butteriness. Oh, that is... <clears throat> the spices, the pepper in there. <laughs> that is... That's actually borderline, like, beyond belief. Beyond belief. I'm in disbelief. I'm in total disbelief. I think I've reached the all-time high of culinary of a culinary feat. And if you're a meat lover, this is like as high as you can go. I don't think you can go higher than this level. Oh. <laughs> It just melts in your mouth. Yeah. And the hot one is so good. Yeah. It melts in your mouth, but then it's crispy at the same time. Oh, wow. Another plate of hot kebab. There's absolutely no way you can even physically resist it. It's like your body, your body needs it when you're in the presence of it. Your body needs it. As many amazing meals as we've had in Mardun, Pakistan, the KPK province, meat has reached uncharted levels. That is insane. <laughs> Okay, got one more patio. And you can see just those jiggly marrow bits. To me, that citrus kind of tastes like a cross between a lemon and an orange, but it's called a memang. It's a specific from uh, this region of the world. And uh, yeah, it just goes so well to kind of tone down the richness of that kebab. But I, I cannot get over these kebabs. <laughs> that will change your life. Look at that just live chunk of marrow just melting into the kebab. Every time you eat chapli kebab, you have to finish with green tea to just wash it down. So that's traditional is to drink green tea. Oh, but yeah, that's not just green tea. There's, it's like loaded with cardamom. Green tea and cardamom. Let me put some... Oh, that's nice. Thing. Oh, some lime. Is that lime? Thank you. Okay, nice. I'll try it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's that tastes extraordinarily healthy. Thank you. Thank you. That was so good. This is Chabun. Thank you, the master and the fryer. Yes. The kebabs and burgers will never be the same ever again. Hamburger. <laughs> I can never look at another hamburger and not remember the chocolate kebab. Goodbye. Goodbye down there. Yeah, that was unexplainably delicious. One of the oldest uh, around. We've got a shop over, this shop over here, like over there, and one here. Oh, okay. And they're also very famous for what they are serving. It's like an ice stick uh, made of cream and like, uh, like an ice cream. Looks like some type of syrup that he grabs. Oh, oh, and then.
Lorenzo is in some kind of cream or something. So what you kind of do, can do is kind of just really stir it up. You've got the noodles in there. He added in some sweet cream. He added in the shaved in that like ice cream roll um, and grab a big bite of this. I've had Faluda before. I've seen Faluda before, but it's more of like a milkshake type of kind of like milkshake beverage. This is totally different. Mm. Oh yeah. That does taste like kulpi. You taste the... Uh... Oh, oh. You taste the cardamom in there. Sweet but not too sweet. And then the, the noodles just kind of like dissolve along with the milkiness of it. It's very refreshing. Pretty good. Wow. Those are the ice cream sticks. That's what you need uh, to make this style of faluda. The actual shop is called Tahir Faluda. They have Tahir. over there Tahir Faluda. Very famous in Mertan. Thank you. Thank you so much for thank everything. You thank you very yes. much. Yeah, you're it was you're, an amazing you're, day. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So we'll catch you in Islamabad. Okay. okay. They gotta go back to uh, Islamabad for a meeting, but they've arranged for us to to go to the the Kabul River. So I think that's the next plan. Fire is so hot, and you can see that fish just hissing and sizzling. Yeah, this is the fried fish, fish that fried chill. Oh, fried. I think there's fried chilies in there as well. He's stirring it around. This chunk of fish just bubbling. Lamb karahi. Lamb karahi, wow. And then finally the grill station where he's making a variety of kebabs. There's fish, there's something called a gray partridge, which uh, I want to try. And then he has a variety of kebabs, some of them of which are fish and chicken. And yes, wow, oh, right off the grill. Okay, I think we're gonna go take a boat ride first before we lose the light, uh, before we eat. This will be a first for me, a boat ride on the river Kabul. Yes. Engine is a little loud, but very scenic and very cool breeze. Boat ride was fantastic. Uh, now we're gonna eat and we're we're gonna sit on a local style. It's it's like a elevated table, but you sit on the table. There's a carpet. Put the food in the middle. We have a view over the river. It's ultimate dining relaxation. Actually, these are entire little partridges. Look, look at the hind legs. Should we begin with the yeah? Let's begin with the drumsticks. The drummers. That's the entire drumstick thigh combo. Mm. Oh, you can kind of chew through the bone too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's like quail. Like more mm, and cumin in there. Mm, mm. Mm. And that marinade. And then how it's roasted over that really hot charcoal. Hey man. Are you enjoying? Oh, Micah's really enjoying the Kabuli Pulao. Oh, we got a plate of right here. We got a plate of fish, fried fish. Then you can just see like the coriander seeds on it. I mean, oh, that is right out of. I think it. Oh, it's so hot. All oh, that steam. I think that is fried in mustard oil, as well, is what I would guess. Look at how hot that is. What I love with the fish is that they really include a lot of coriander seed. And that really complements the fish. It just goes so well together. And then yeah. That's really fragrant. It's salty. It's. You can also taste the cumin, I think, in there. <laughs> the fried skin is the best part. Okay. 
but we gotta move on because we have one more place to eat. It's, we're, I think we're about 45 minutes or so away from Peshawar. We're proceeding on to, we gotta make it to Peshawar today, uh, but there's one more restaurant and they are legendary for the, again, for their chapli kebab. So we're gonna pull a, a double today. Um, and so we gotta stop there for dinner before we get to Peshawar. But there are literally like 12 in a row and we're not sure which one is the original one so we're trying to make some calls trying to ask around trying to find the original Taru Jaba Taru Jaba that's what it's called that's the place we're looking for they literally have oh, wow look at that bonfire that is just real <laughs> 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 this might be the coolest restaurant like cooking station I have ever seen in my life. That is an entire bonfire. It's just it's just radiating. It's so hot down there. Um, and then they actually have like what is it? It's like a dock. It's like a dock of a cooking station. Um, they've invited me to come back here to watch them as they make the meat. Ah, it's so hot. And just that animal fat. Or you can actually see the chunks of animal fat in the in the jacuzzi that are just melting as he scoots the kebabs. Oh, oh he's mixing the mixed meat right now. Tomato's going. Oh, nice. Chilies. Mm. Without a doubt, this is one of the coolest restaurants of my life. So he makes the meat, um, and he, I love that, I love that, that shove move. He just slides it into the fat. Taru, taru jaba. Taru jaba. Taru jaba, right? Taru jaba, chapli kebab. Chapli kebab. Make the chapli kebab. Oh, I am turning red in the face. I've been standing like pretty close to this fire trying to get the shots. Wow, that is hot. My face is burning. I'm sweating. I don't know if that fire ever goes out. I think I can safely say this is the coolest restaurant I've ever, the coolest cooking station in the world that I've, I've ever witnessed. I'm fascinated and just blown away and in awe. Assalamu alaikum. My new fashion flavor. We got the special kebab with the marrow in it again. Uh, chapli kebab. They serve the full set, the vegetables, the yeah, the bread, and some kind of a like almost pink yogurt. Gotta get that. Oh, it just juices. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh wow, look at that <laughs> bubbly nugget of marrow. Cheers to what done to us. How do you the original? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> this is just amazing. This one, you can taste more of the tomatoes in this one. It's absolutely... Hello. How are you? Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle on some of that citrus, some of that memang, that um, similar to an orange and a lemon combined sort of, but a, an original orange. That is... That's an eye-opener. <laughs> you like... It literally is one of the greatest meat things. Like burgers will never be the same again. It's so unbelievably juicy. Yeah, my whole perspective on life has changed after that, after this kebab. Oh yeah. Well, that kind of goes up your nose. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Both of the chapli kebabs we've had today have been like exceptional. Both of them unbelievably good. I think I might like this atmosphere setting a bit more because it's so like ancient looking and just that blazing bonfire. But both both of the chapli kebabs are insane. <clears throat> and then you always got to have green tea. Mm. Oh yeah, the cardamom again. 
What a meal. Not only one, one time, but two times have I had the best kebab of my entire life. The best patty of any shape or form of my entire life. come to the full realization, conclu uh, <laughs> I can't even fully conceptualize yet how good the chapli kebabs were. This is my first day to ever eat chapli kebab. And we had two, two times, two, two times today, which is not recommended because it's so heavy and so rich, but that was like two of the greatest decisions I've ever made. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who hosted us today. Uh, we met and interacted with so many people. Thank you so much. I want to say a massive thank you to Ali who organized everything from Landmark Travel and Bukhari Travels and Landmark Communications. I'll include Ali in the description box below. Check him out. He's an amazing guy. Uh, so we're just going to drive into Peshawar from here. And then tomorrow the next video is going to be a full tour of Peshawar, which is an ancient city uh, which I cannot wait to explore. Floor, so that's coming up in the next video and that's gonna be it for tonight I want to say a huge thank you for watching this video Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon So that you get notified of the next video that I publish goodbye from the best kebab possibly in the entire world I will see you on the next video